we are committed to the sustainability agenda within infrastructure. One example of that is that we have invested in a product scorecard which can assess the entire product through its lifetime. One is that we look at the embodied CO2 for the product. Another one is that we look at its hazardous, meaning the amount of raw material which in the future as well is, uh, could get on a hazardous list. A third element of it is to which extent it's actually recycled. So the product scorecard truly assess the product from cradle to grave. Another uh, element important to the infrastructure area is that we are working constantly to reduce the amount of VOC or solvent used in our coating. We do already have today the water-based program and we both will go into how we can further enhance and develop that but also how we can use higher solid coating to reduce the total amount of solid used in our solutions today. A third element which is important to us also in the infrastructure area is how we systematically can work to reduce the carbon footprint. One way of that is to look into EPDs as they are called today or environmental product declaration and how much carbon uh, we are using within our uh, current product.